Hi, it's Elise here at Bowman Library with a whole new Teen Book Spotlight. So for this week, we are taking inspiration from something maybe you're familiar with, maybe something you enjoy, maybe something, like say it, you're gonna, ugh. But I promise you, there's way more to it than what you think. This week, we are exploring books and graphic novels that are inspired by superhero stories. That's right, we're taking a whole week looking at superheroes. And what's amazing about this is when I started digging into this, there are tons of books out there that have nothing to do with the superheroes you know. I think we all jumped to like Marvel or something like that. Yeah, those exist. We're gonna talk about a handful of some Marvel and some DC stuff. But there are others that are completely original and may actually inspire you to create your own superheroes or maybe to even like a superhero story if that's something you're not really into. So we have six we're gonna take a look at, so let's get started. Our first one today is this graphic novel called Gotham High. Now this graphic novel brings us back to when the individuals were teenagers in high school before they were the superheroes and the villains that we know today. So Bruce Wayne has returned to Gotham after being kicked out of his boarding school and now he's enrolled in Gotham High along with his neighbor, Selena Kyle, and the bad boy, Jack Napier. It's when a fellow classmate, Harvey Dent, gets kidnapped and he's held for ransom, and Bruce Wayne is convinced that, the, that they were supposed to kidnap him, not Harvey. They switched jackets. That's what Bruce thinks happened. Bruce decides they, they need to find him. They need to rescue him. But things are not what they seem to be, and Bruce doesn't know who he can trust and who he cannot. Now this backstory on the characters that we now know as Batman, Catwoman, and the Joker is, is a fresh look at this. It's well worth the read. It gives you a whole new insight, whole new storyline. There's action, there's adventure, there is some mystery, there is a little bit of romance in there because you always have the Batman, Catwoman thing going. But this graphic novel is well worth the read, especially if you're a super pro fan, but if you love a good graphic novel, this falls in that category as well. This is Gotham High. Our next one is Dreadnought, and this is completely original. So life for 15-year-old Danny Tozer is more complicated than it may be for others her age. First off, she lives in a world that is filled with superheroes and supervillains, but then there's also the fact that she's, she's transgender. She's currently in training in order to become a full-fledged superhero. So she's dealing with the superhero stuff, she's dealing with friends, family, she's 15, trying to figure out who she is, trying to get people to accept her. Now things speed up though, because when she is given the great superpowers of the superhero known as Dreadnought, upon his death. Like they're walking down the street, her and her friend, and Dre not just falls from the sky, is dead because she's the closest one. She now has his powers. Danny has now become this complete superhero, complete with a female body. It's while she's trying to adjust to all this, her new identity, her new body, powers, her father wanting to cure her of all of a sudden being a female, her best friend starting to make the moves on her. That, and then she's dealing with all this and all of a sudden there's this cyborg you know, who killed the original Dreadnought, and now the cyborg makes themselves known, and it's gonna be up to Danny to save all of humanity. Yeah, easy task, right? Now this is the first in a completed duology, this creative take on superhero stories, one that's part superhero, part completely realistic though. As you go on this journey with Danny, it is completely relatable. Even if you're not a superhero, this is Dreadnought. Battling boy, okay, another graphic novel, original take on a superhero. Now the city from Acropolis has become defenseless and is now under attack by monsters and demons when their hero falls in battle. Okay, so now sets the scene. Hope seems to be on the horizon though when a 13 year old warrior god named Battling Boy is sent to save the city. Even though it's the last thing he wants to do. He has his own problems from an overbearing father to not knowing how to control his powers which he receives from t-shirts, of all things. Now this is filled with action, there's fights, there's an explosion, there's even superhero jealousy. If you want some drama in your superhero stories, you will want to know how this is all going to end. I will tell you, it does leave, leave me on a cliffhanger. It's the first in a trilogy. You will want to read the others because you're gonna get so invested in these characters, you're gonna wanna know what happens to them. This is the first one, this is Battling Boy. Zero is by Scott Westerfeld. Written some amazing things. The Ugly series is probably one of his most more well-known Leviathan trilogy. 
zeros, yeah, completely original, completely new. So the zeros is a group of teenagers, and they each have these special superhero abilities, but when the series starts, this is the first book in a series, when it starts, they are all scattered over the United States due to constant infighting among them. So their solution was to break the group up. It's when one of the members, though, Ethan, who goes by the name Scam, he's called this because he has the ability to try, he has the ability to, like, for lack of a better word, like, force thoughts and things. They, people hear exactly what they want to hear in order for Scam to get what he wants from them. The only way he gets it is he gets detained. The only way he's going to be rescued is if all the other zeros get together to, to save him. But not everyone is eager to get together. They all have their own personal issues. They have their group drama that still needs to be resolved. Keep in mind, there was a ton of infighting that led to them breaking up. And they have to use their powers, which again, is a whole nother issue. This is told in different points of view. All the, all the group members, all the zeros, have a point of view that comes across in this book. And that's one thing I love about this is you're not just being told the story. You are getting like insight, their thoughts, their feelings, why they do what they do. So you'll get to learn about each character, their inner workings, and you will leave wanting to read the next one by the end. Now books two and three are out. We have them here. I will tell you, it's a little bit of a hefty read, but it doesn't feel like it. Another Scott Lesterfeld masterpiece. This is Zeros. Wonder Woman, Lord Bringer. Okay, so. There is a graphic novel version of this book as well, but this is the chapter book, and this is part of the DC Icon series. So there's other ones of this. If you're not into Wonder Woman, there's also Superman, I think there's Catwoman, Har the Harley Quinn ones come out. So there are others in this DC Icon series, but we're just gonna explore Wonder Woman here for, for today. So we start off by meeting Diana. Diana is an Amazon who's destined for greatness. But one day she throws it all away to save a mere mortal. But the mortal she saves, her name is Aaliyah, and she is not your ordinary human. She's instead what's known as a war bringer. This is an individual who brings war and destruction in their wake. Just the person you want to be saving, right? So Diana and Aaliyah, they, they, they figure out they're going to have to work together. And they're going to end the war bringer line in order to save the human race from destruction. Right? Easy. Anyone can do it. Yeah. Okay. That's why you need Wonder Woman. Um, this is a chapter book that follows how Diana becomes Wonder Woman. It's super insightful. It's by Lee Bardugo. If you've read her other stuff, you know you're in for a special treat. You'll know you'll there's stuff if you if you like Wonder Woman. There's there's facts all mixed in, but you will learn more about her too than what you could pick up from other storylines. Again, this does come in a graphic novel form. So if you're more of a graphic novel person, that's an option as well. This is the checkbook form. This is Wonder Woman Warbringer. And our last one for today is Elusive. So set in a dystopian world where individuals are given a vaccine. And there's this, there's a very small percentage of the population that when they're given this vaccine, that they receive these like superhero X-Men type skills. Like for example, some people get heightened senses. Some people get telepathy. Some people have the ability to, you know, hypnotize anyone. Our main character, Siri, she has the ability to create illusions. She, she lets people see what she wants them to see. When she and her best friend are caught robbing a bank using her special skills, the person who catches her, like crime boss, he offers her a reveal. She can either be turned into the FBI, face up to the music for what she did, or, she can so, use her skills and find a large amount of money for him. And naturally, what do you think Siri do? Oh, that's right. She chooses to go find the elusive amount of money that no one can be able to seem to find. You will then be along with her and her best friend on this science fiction adventure as she and her crew, they set off to find this money, all without being caught or destroyed by those who are after them. And there are people after them. I can promise you that. So this is the first in the series, and this one ends on a cliffhanger too. So you'll want to get the next one. I will tell you this, I thoroughly enjoyed this one. It's super, it's definitely a superhero, but if you like a good science fiction-esque story, you don't have to like superheroes to enjoy it, I promise you. This is elusive. So these are just six of the books we 
chapter of the library that are superhero inspired because in graphic novels there's some fiction. Even if you're not into superheroes, I told you there's, there might be something you might actually want to be willing to crack open and cover some reading. So I encourage you to come on out, check out one of these, or we can help you find whatever that perfect book is you're looking for. I hope you tune back next week. We have a whole new Team Book Spotlight, and I hope you have an amazing week.